The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. delivery letter to Senator John R. Dodds. Not about our fire department problem again. Yes, the fire department problem again. I think this is the best letter I've written yet. Well, let's see. Dear Senator Dodds, I feel it is my duty to point out an alarming situation which exists here in Danfield. Because of rezoning in the county, our fire department has been transferred to Ridgebury many, many miles away. Yeah. As a result, in case of a fire, defenseless women and little children will be left helpless to face a flaming inferno. <laughs> Don't you think you ought to send a record of hearts and flowers along? <laughs> Never mind, read on. Until this outrageous condition is rectified, the least you can do for Danfield is to create a volunteer fire department. Yours very truly, Lucille Carmichael. Read the P.S., that's the best part. <laughs> P.S. I plan to vote for you in the next election. <laughs> that is, if the polling place hasn't burned down. <laughs> that ought to get it. Oh, now, Lucy, you've already written the editor of the Danfield Tribune, our senator, our congressman, our councilman. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? No, I don't. Not until I get some action. And I think you should be writing letters, too. Oh, no. You don't get me to fight City Hall. I think you're wasting your time. All right. You can do nothing if you want to, but I'm not going to sit around and become the last of the Red Hot Mamas. Oh. <laughs> hi, Mom. Oh, oh here they are. Hi, darling. How's everything, honey? Take off your honey? jacket. Glad kiss. to see you. Oh. Ah. Well, did anything interesting happen today at school? Gosh, yeah. Captain Metcalf of the Ridgebury Fire Department talked to the whole school about fire prevention. Well, that's more like it. He said now that we didn't have a fire department of our own, we have to be very careful about fire prevention. I guess my letter stirred up some action after all. He put it as all junior firemen. Good for you. What do you have to do? We're supposed to check the fire hazards at all homes. Good idea. Come on, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Checking fire hazards. In our home? Sure. Captain Metcalf says most fires in the home are due to negligence. Well, we certainly haven't been negligent, but you go ahead and check to your heart's content. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this. Yeah, that's bad. What, what? This lamp cord is all frazzled. Well, that's not my fault. I got that lamp at an auction. The cord was like that when I got it. <laughs> a violation is a violation. <laughs> Look at that! What now? A greasy dust cloth. After using, greasy rags should be placed in a covered metal can. Very dangerous. Well, that's her fault. It's her dust cloth. Oh, oh now, wait a minute. Just a second. That's her dust. <laughs> A violation is a violation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you uh oh about? This. Well, the wire was broke, so I put some tape around it. Only qualified electricians should repair wiring. I can't afford a qualified electrician. I'm a qualified pauper. Uh -huh. a, a violation is a violation. Yeah. Come on, Jerry. We've got to check the kitchen. How do you like that? We're raising a couple of stool pigeons. <laughs> Can they put me in jail for a frazzled cord? Oh, no, they won't put you in jail. They'll probably just condemn your house. <laughs> Great. We just found eight more violations. And we haven't even been upstairs yet. <laughs> 
Oh, boy. I feel I'll have more violations than any other kids in the school. <laughs> How do you like that? They probably get a prize for putting us behind bars. <laughs> Yes, sir? Mrs. Carmichael? Yes? I'm Captain Medcalf of the Ridgebury Fire Department. Oh, won't you come in? Thank you. Captain Metcalf, this is Mrs. Bagley. How do you do, How Captain? How do you do? I'm here on behalf of the fire department. It seems that your son's turned in a report at school. <laughs> My goodness, you work fast. That report was just turned in this morning. I know, but when the school principal called the chief on the phone and told him about the report, he said we got no time to lose. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have anything to worry about. We've already fixed every violation. Really? Yes, sir. We had an electrician in, and you won't find a, a frazzled hazard in the house. <laughs> no, sir, every little dust rag has been put in a metal can and told to stay there. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Do you mind if I look around? No, go right ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See what I mean? Good. Now, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes? This cord here goes to the television set. That's right. Where does this other cord go? Well, that's connected to the, uh... Uh, where does that cord go, Viv? Don't ask me. <laughs> well, now, must go somewhere. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, oh, here we are. Goes right over here. Oh, and up there. <laughs> right along here. Oh, here we are. Goes right in that extension there. Where does that, ex where does that extension go? Oh, well, that goes down here, and, uh... Oh, look at that. Goes right across there. <laughs> That's a pretty neat job, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it goes right in here. <laughs> yeah, it goes all the way in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. It comes right up there. <laughs> Here we are, right here. Where does that extension go? <laughs> well, now we'll just find out. <laughs> oh, look, these are our baby's shoes. <laughs> well, we had them done in bronze. Did you ever do anything like that? No, 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 it didn't. Well, yeah. uh, let's see now. We were following a little cord. Let's see now. Oh, yes. Uh-huh, here we go. Up here. Oh. You haven't dusted in there in about three weeks, girl. <laughs> yeah, it comes right out here, goes right under that rug. I wonder where the next leg of our little journey will take us. Well, it's got to end somewhere. <laughs> Carmichael, running cords underneath rugs is dangerous. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Now, listen, I don't want to sound strict to you, but the, the chief has been on my neck. It seems that some nervous Nellie has been writing letters to everybody she can think of. <laughs> the mayor has been pressing the chief for action, and the chief's been pressing me. This woman must have written to everybody but the president. <laughs> Give her time. <laughs> what do you mean? Meet the press. So you're the one. Yeah, I'm nervous, Nellie. <laughs> now, 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 don't get me wrong, Nellie. I, 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 I'm Mrs. Carmichael. You see, I believe in adequate fire pr protection just like you do. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take a little time to get this, this, Dan, this Danfield situation into shape. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I hope you can find better things to do than go around picking on poor, innocent women's plugs. <laughs> indeed, indeed, we are. We're, we're organizing a volunteer fire department right now. Oh, really? Well, it's nice to know there'll be some men on the job. Well, actually, since so many men commute to New York, our volunteer fire department will be made up of women. Really? And seeing that you are so interested, we hope that you might head our volunteer group. Well, I'd be delighted. Oh, she doesn't know very much about putting out fires. She's better at starting them. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Bill. Uh, Captain Carmichael reporting. When do we start, Chief? Our first meeting is tomorrow at the old firehouse. Captain? Oh, well, I'll be there along with my fellow smoke eater, Bagley. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You can eat that smoke all by yourself. <laughs> Vivian, how would you like it if as my first official act as captain was to write on the side of the firehouse, Vivian Bagley is chicken? <laughs> Hand me my helmet. <laughs> I have her, and I have about 10 or 12 others, Captain, and I tell you, we are going to oh, be the best you'll have, you'll have a seven. Oh, you'll have a seven. Oh, get your chance. Okay, Thelma, your turn. Oh, oh, down we come, Thelma. Thelma, come on, down the pole. Thelma. I don't think I can do it. Now, come on, Thelma. Come down the pole. There's nothing to it. It's really a lot of fun. That's it. Take it easy. You're down, Thelma. You're down. You're down. That's it. You're all right. This girl, there's really nothing to it. Okay, okay, Viv, you're next. Viv, come down this pole. Viv, this is your captain speaking. This is in order. <laughs> Vivian, come down here. I'm down. <laughs> you march right up there and come down the pole. Not a chance. Viv, that's Girls, not nice. I was out there. There's the cutest little stove. We can have hot tea and oh, everything. Honestly, oh, honestly, that's oh, not nice. I, I am not coming, coming down that pole. Well, I, I don't well care. ladies. I don't care. I mean it. Ladies, I how's it pole. going? Oh, Chief, uh, everything's fine. We're just having a little pole practice. Pole practice? Yes, sir. Well, that's fine, Mrs. Uh, Captain Carmichael, but uh, you volunteers will be working out of your home, so you won't have to slide down the pole. Oh. Well, uh, Chief, I, I think I told my crew uh, everything that you wanted me to explain to them, but if you have anything else to add, go right ahead. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now, if you'll all step over here. Step over here, all of you. Oh, By instructions. We'll, we'll work out your truck assignments. Oh, good. Oh. Now, there's room for five to stand on each side of the truck. Five. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Those on the left will have charge of the hose, the extinguishers, and the axes. Oh. Oh. There'll be an axe. There'll be an axe for everybody. Don't worry. Yeah. Those on the right will have charge of the ladders. Oh, oh, oh. Now step this way. Step this way. Step this way. Quiet, girl. Step this way. Two will ride up front. Huh? One will operate the siren and, of course, the driver. Yes. Oh. Now, who's the best driver? Oh, I am. I am. I am. Hold, 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 hold it. Hold it. Who had no traffic violations during the past year? <laughs> Who had no traffic violations within the past month? <laughs> Who has a car without a dented fender? I don't have a dented Good. fender. Oh, that's just because she doesn't have a car. He didn't ask that. <laughs> Why don't you be the driver during the first month? Thank you. After that, everyone can take turns. Oh, we get to take turns. I promise that now. You'll let us take the turns. Now, listen, I, I think I've had enough for today. So if you'll pick up your uniforms and equipment in the back room, please. Yeah, okay. okay. Pick up your uniforms. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I have a question that I think is uh, quite important. Oh, what is it? 
How do we know when there's a fire? Oh, <laughs> that is important. Yes, that's, that's quite important. Yeah. Step over this way. Step over here. Follow us closely. <laughs> Pay attention. Now, one of you ladies will be on duty at all times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a call comes in and there's a fire, you sound the alarm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, when you hear that signal, get here as fast as you can. Now, it might be a good idea if you all went home and practiced putting on your equipment and uniforms <laughs> as quick as you can. Yeah. The most important thing in fighting fires is speed. Speed. I speed. Now that. that it is. Now, 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 now I think... Fast 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 to fight a fire. I, you I think you can better. take care of anything minor, and if yeah. anything major comes up, the Ridgeberry Fire Department will take care of it. Oh, good. So if you pick up your uniforms, you're dismissed. Oh, fine. Oh, oh a speed. We'll go home and practice and get back here in a quick hurry. Huh? Yeah. Do you think we'll be able to, to hear that alarm clear over at our house? Gee, I wonder. I'd hate to miss my first fire. Yeah. <laughs> you better find out. Yep. A minute and 45 seconds. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'll bet we could clip 15 seconds off that if we try. Let's try it again. Again? Oh, Lucy, I'm exhausted. We've been rehearsing all morning. All right now, Viv. Come on, try it just once more, just for me. Please. Oh. Now, just relax, sit back, relax, read the magazine. You know, any ordinary afternoon. Hark. I do believe I hear the signal from the firehouse. I really do, or I wouldn't have you rehearsing them. I'm the captain. I feel that I have to get these things done to the best of my ability. Yes, Captain. <laughs> and make fun of them, but I think they're very important. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs and take a nap. I want to see if I can fall asleep in one minute and 28 seconds. <laughs> oh. I'm going to get some coffee.
say the keys to the car. <laughs>
starring Vivian Vance. delivery letter to Senator John R. Dodds. Not about our fire department problem again. Yes, the fire department problem again. I think this is the best letter I've written yet. Now, well, let's see. Dear Senator Dodds, I feel it is my duty to point out an alarming situation which exists here in Danfield. Because of rezoning in the county, our fire department has been transferred to Ridgebury many, many miles away. Yeah. As a result, in case of a fire, defenseless women and little children will be left helpless to face a flaming inferno. <laughs> Don't you think you ought to send a record of hearts and flowers along? <laughs> Never mind, read on. Until this outrageous condition is rectified, the least you can do for Danfield is to create a volunteer fire department. Yours very truly, Lucille Carmichael. Read the P.S., that's the best part. <laughs> P.S. I plan to vote for you in the next election. <laughs> that is, if the polling place hasn't burned down. <laughs> that ought to get it. Oh, now, Lucy, you've already written the editor of the Danfield Tribune, our senator, our congressman, our councilman. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? No, I don't. Not until I get some action. And I think you should be writing letters, too. Oh, no. You don't get me to fight City Hall. I think you're wasting your time. All right. You can do nothing if you want to, but I'm not going to sit around and become the last of the red-hot mamas. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mom. Oh, oh, here hi, they are. Hi, 